man versus slug. The book says in February we can start planting some of the heat-loving plants, so we're out in the greenhouse and we're just sort of planning where we're going to be placing some of these things. We've got a couple of different versions of tomatoes, uh, a cucumber, and then this morning my son persuaded to me to buy some watermelon. Uh, and we're definitely not going to have room. Um, as always, I'm going to try and cram way too much into uh, too small a space. It's not a big greenhouse. The determinate tomato said to be sown in February. So we're going to sow them indoors. We're in pots. And then it says to plant them a metre apart, but because it's a small greenhouse, we're only going to plant it 50 centimetres apart. So I think we'll, we'll probably put one sort of here by the door, one halfway towards the back and the same the other side. So we're going to have four plants in here um, and they're going to be down the front because, because they're determined we expect them to stay pretty low. But they don't give us any idea of the height. The plan was to plant them near the door so that we could have the taller indeterminate tomatoes behind them but without knowing how big these are going to grow, we may not be able to reach the indeterminate tomatoes to prune. <laughs> the indeterminate tomatoes that we've got grow to, uh, what's it say, two meters, which is uh, pretty much the height of the greenhouse, and then some maybe, but says to plant 45 centimeters apart. So I think where these canes are, we should be able to get three in down this side, and then we will get three in down the other side this this shelving rack. No, no, don't put them there. I have the watermelon and the cucumber here. Oh, OK, we're going to... See, this is why we're, we're planning. We're changing our mind already. Watermelon and cucumber are going to go there. So maybe where you're stood, um, we should put just a, a couple more tomatoes in there. So we can get five, four or five. Mm, yeah, but we need space for these to go out. Yeah, so then if we have, so the watermelon in this corner here. And it goes up there, up like there. here. Yeah, and the cucumber can sort of come up here and do its thing. I was expecting us to put the <laughs> cucumber and watermelon here so they can sort of cover the wall in front of the shed. And if we maybe put some wires in here, they'd have something to grow on this side. But also put the watermelon and cucumber. Oh, duh, here and here maybe, and then they go there. But okay, so maybe only one tomato. So one tomato in this corner over here. Watermelon, cucumber, cucumber, tomato, tomato, tomato. Yeah, and basil. Well, I think in terms of basil, what I was thinking, if we got uh, some basil seeds, we could just scatter it and almost have a, a carpet of basil seeds on the floor. Hang on, basket. <laughs> well, anyway, we, we, it's the, the last week in February, um, and of these, we, well, according to the facts, we can plant just the determinate tomatoes, these, uh, these Italian tomatoes. So why don't we go inside and pop them into some pots? Loads and cracks. Okay, that was very surprising. 
by grinding. with other stuff later on. So we've got a, a cover um, which was designed for an entirely different seat tray. So it doesn't quite fit but it'll sit over those um, and we will give them a bit of a sprinkling of water. Stop looking bored. <laughs> Try and look at this. <laughs>